what did you see as the opportunity in the market? What was something that you saw people may have gotten wrong and you wanted to either bring light to or give your own take on? What was like the impetus for starting for starting Caraway? The story of why I had started it was a couple of years ago, just like any other night, came home, started to cook. I had Teflon coated pans mm -hmm. at home, put one on a burner. I think I got a call and I forgot I left the burner on with the pan sitting there with no food in it. About 45 minutes went by and my whole apartment ended up being filled with fumes. Felt really sick and nauseous and gave poison control a call. And they had educated me that I was likely exposed to Teflon poisoning from the, the fumes from the overheated pan and really couldn't wrap my head around the fact that something that I was cooking off of and touching my food was potentially dangerous. And so started to really dig into the category, found that 95% of nonstick cookware is made with Teflon. Um, and mm -hmm. felt there was just a really big opportunity in the space to create products around safety and not toxic materials. But kind of, as you mentioned, it is a really challenging purchase for consumers just because there's, you know, four to five core materials out there. There's lots of marketing jargon. There's price points from 20 bucks all the way to a thousand. Most people don't even know what's in their kitchen. And so it's, it's almost this category that has this like perfect wave of almost every problem from pricing to, you know, lack of brand affinity to materials. And so it definitely made it challenging when launching the brand to think through how to, how to, you know, correctly decide what to focus on and, you know, what was the final product we wanted to launch. That's well, first of all, it's an incredible story. I'm sorry that happened to you, but I'm glad something positive came out of it. So what's your first step is your first step researching, obviously Teflon, you go down that rabbit hole, realize this is crazy. And then what do you start doing then? Do you start thinking like, what materials can we use that would be beneficial for cooking, but also non-toxic? What does that look like? Yeah. First step was really looking into what else was out there. You know, there were things like cast iron and stainless steel and, and ceramic, which we use today. And just by kind of looking across online reviews and talking with friends and family, one of the consistent themes that I found was that a lot of people were just daunted by the experience of cooking and it didn't feel easy to a lot of people. And so stainless steel and cast iron, they're great options and they exist for a reason, but they're heavier, they're harder to clean. And I wanted something that was nonstick and easy. And uh, ceramic is this amazing material that's actually been around for about 10 years and has really kind of sat on retail shelves. The story has never been told. People who buy it don't know why they own it. And wanting to be a digital first brand felt there was a really unique opportunity to take something that already existed that was safe and, you know, bring it to market in a different way using a digital platform with education and storytelling, you know, as a means to bring the brand to life. Hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.